Hi, thanks for joining me at Neural Splendor. Tonight's going to be part two of our series on the CAT C15 low boost issue. Tonight we're just going to look at the familiarization of the air and electrical circuit. I'll show you what the actual pieces look like on the engine and we'll talk a little bit about the theory. It'll be a quick video, then you can think about it, and the next video series we'll do is where we go into the actual pair. We're on the driver's side of the engine. That's the steering column you see in the top of the picture. Number one is the engine ECU. It controls all the electrical and a lot of mechanical functions on the engine. Number two is a cylinder head where the intake manifold is cast in. And three is the boost sensor. Four is a solenoid the ECM uses to control boost. It's screwed into a housing. Number five, there's that housing, the boost uh, wastegate lines go into that and solves a solenoid. Number six is the turbocharger, the passenger side of the engine now. And our last slide, number seven, the wastegate can, and then the wastegate rod and the hinge. And behind the freeze plug is a lever that that hinge turns. And that lever has a slug, kind of like a quarter welded to it or riveted to it. And when the wastegate pulls, closed, it covers that hole. When that hole's covered, you have all the exhaust pressure going through the turbocharger, making it spin faster and faster. The wastegate can number seven has a very heavy spring in it, and that spring is trying to pull that rod into the wastegate can. On the back of the wastegate can, behind that braided steel line, where you can't see, there's that rubber hose. You see the green arrows on the steel line and the rubber hose? That is air pressure from basically the cylinder head from boost coming into the back of the wastegate. And there's a diaphragm in there in number seven. And that diaphragm separates the air from the spring. So the air pressure is trying to collapse the spring. And if it's able to, then the rod will move out. And when the rod moves out, it uncovers the hole in the turbine housing and then our turbo slows down very quickly because we've lost turbo boost. Quickly I want to just say that the turbine housing is what we also call the exhaust housing on the turbo but the correct terminology is turbine housing. The pressure in the wastegate can, can number seven, that air pressure coming through that steel line with the green arrows is actually the boost pressure that's inside of the cylinder head. So it's traveling through the steel lines around the engine to the can, and it's pressurizing that can. The spring in the can is a calibrated spring, and when they uh, build that can and they assemble the turbo, they put a, a calibrated air pressure gauge on there and set it to a specific number. They have a dial indicator on the other end of it, and they set it to a specific travel. And that's how they set that can up so that it works properly on the engine that is designed to run on. In our next video, you'll see a schematic of the electrical slash air system, and I will explain how it works so that you can understand what goes on. And then after that, we'll look at what failed. You'll also see a little bit of troubleshooting in the videos. Thanks for joining me at Neural Splendor. We'll see you next time.